and now you have two brushes and when you select them both you see combine when you press on combine these two brushes are combined into one brush Welcome to Steve Draws. I'm Steve, a Dutch illustrator and animator. And in this video, I'm going to explain the new brush studio in Procreate 5. We're still in Procreate 5 beta, but it's coming soon to the App Store. In the last video, I did a video about all the new brushes in Procreate. And now I'm going to concentrate on how to make a new brush. First, I'm going to select a new uh, brush set by pressing on the plus and just name it Stave Test. Now I'm going to make a new brush and you can do that by pressing on the plus on the upper right corner. And now you see a total different menu. This is called the Brush Studio in Procreate. It first starts out with the stroke path, the taper, but what I first want to do is create a shape and it's a little bit different than in Procreate 4.3. Now you have to press on edit and then you can import a shape. I'm going to import a, a shape from import a file and look for a shape I can use. gonna import this and now it is a square but you can change the shape when you press with two fingers on the screen it will invert your image then press on done and now it is selected also going to make a new grain and gonna import it from the source library and the source library is where all uh, the default brushes of Procreate are made. Just gonna choose Willow Grain and there's a new feature it's called Auto Repeat and when you press on that you can uh, scale your grain and also rotate it and have a border overlap so you can see a border between all of the frames and this is handy if you have just photographed a, a grain or a, some material and you know you want to fit it into uh, that it's all mirrored so that there's no change in the borders that you, you know really can see that it's made up of different tiles can also do a mirror overlap just turn it on and it's not really working well yet because this is still the beta version and then press on done now the texture is created so now you've created um, a new brush with the shape and the grain. I'm gonna change the taper and now you can link the tip sizes. So when you turn that on and select the taper of your brush, it will do it automatically on the beginning and the end of your stroke. Great thing about this new studio is that you can also work with colors. So when you tap on drawing pad, you can, you know, check it out with different colors and, you know, choose between these colors just to see how the colors blend. There's a new tab for rendering, wet mix, and well, everything has changed. It's still the same things, but they have added a lot of new things to it like color dynamics and with color dynamics you can do some cool stuff when you um, change the stroke color jitter and you paint with it you know the color 
changes. And you can do that with the stamp color jitter so it stays within the brush. So you have some structure within your brush. And you can also uh, change the color pressure. So if you press harder, the color will change. Just going to turn off the stamp color jitter. So you can also change the color pressure. So the harder you press, the color will change. And this is, of course, great for lettering. And I'm going to change the uh, jitter. So I want to make the foliage brush. Have some burned edges to it. And you can also clear this canvas by swiping with three fingers from left to right. So you can, you know, test out the brushes. You can also change the tilt of your Apple Pencil. You could already do that in 4.3, but now you can do it with the tilt that you can see it visually. So when you draw like this and you know, you can change the tilt. So if you have assigned a color pressure to the tilt of your Apple Pencil, it will change. And when you're finished with the brush, because there's just so many options to, you know, make new brushes, you can go to about this brush, press on the icon because now you can customize it and then you can see who made the brush. So you can import um, a picture from your photos or from your camera. And I'm just going to add my uh, logo to it. And you can also uh, assign it. Stave. Draws. And you also have some space here. To sign it. And then press on done. I forgot to name the brush and you can name the brush up here. Stave test. And press on done. So now you've created uh, a new brush with the new brush studio and you know, there's just a lot of different things you can, can do with it. You can also import ABR brushes and you can also make dual brushes. I'm just going to um, duplicate uh, an existing uh, brush and I'm gonna drop it into my stave test. And now you have two brushes and when you select them both, you see combine. When you press on combine, these two brushes are combined into one brush. So when you press on it, you see that it is two brushes that make up one brush. So this is an overview of the Brush Studio in Procreate 5 Beta. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want me to do more videos like this, please let me know in the comments down below. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!